Hello, I'm Miranda Raisin and I play Cassandra Pentecost. Cassandra is, well, the first word that springs to mind is she's, she's a toughie. Um, whenever I've done sessions um, playing Cassandra, I always kind of leave just walking a little bit taller. She's not exactly softer than when you last saw her, but there's definitely a, a more human side to her now. She's, she's a warrior, but she's, she's got her inner demons as well, and I think that makes her quite human. She's a, a sucker for romance, it turns out. Um, she, you know, appears to be somebody who's kind of wears a metaphorical chastity belt or is, you know, everything's kind of hidden beneath the armour. You know, she's not just, she's not sort of masculine, she's just a girl who's, who's not a girly girl, who's kind of honed a certain part of her. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. In Dragon Age 2, she, she just has no patience for Varric whatsoever, and, and she just sees him as a, as a ridiculous fool of a dwarf. Um, but, I mean, she's still, they're not the best of friends. Um, but there's a, there's a new dynamic, really, I think, to their, to their relationship now. She has a sort of grudging, if not respect, I think she gets more where he's coming from now. You sort of find out more um, in, in this game about about Cassandra's background and difficult things that she's had to deal with um, in her youth. She's definitely got a vulnerability that, that I think is, is necessarily shown, you know, in, in, in very difficult times. She, she, she's quite unexpectedly good at comforting other people when they're in real trouble. And I don't think the Cassandra of Dragon Age 2 would necessarily have been quite so good at empathising with other players and reaching out to them. She was sort of an angrier person. And now the anger is sort of more on the outside, more manifested itself into her physicality and I think made her stronger physically, um, but, but, but more vulnerable sort of inside. If I was stuck on an island with Cassandra, I think she'd eat me for breakfast. If we could have a year on the island together, it could be like a boot camp that would be very psychologically and physically useful. I could come out much physically and mentally stronger than I am now. I might also find myself inclined a different way. I mean, she's quite attractive and, you know, there's just a lot going for her.